Hey there guys, how's it going? Today I wanted to recap the Notion block by block conference that just now happened. Today is March 2nd of 2022 and Notion just had this big conference announcing some new features and some new focuses that they have moving forward for the platform itself. And there are some exciting new changes, some things with databases that are going to be changing, some things with the API that have improved as well as for you enterprise folks who are working with large teams, they've introduced much easier settings for teams. So in today's video, I just wanna give you guys a brief recap of the conference that I believe was over an hour long. So let's get right into it. So during the Notion block by block conference, they had three main focuses. As I said earlier, it was for basically team organization, improved database views, and better connectivity between your apps. So. Some of the things that they added were custom team creation. So here's just a quick screenshot and I apologize that these are a bit blurry guys. I just grabbed these screenshots from the conference itself. So they are coming through a bit blurry, but this is just a quick look at what it's going to look like to create your own team space within Notion. And the way that this has changed things is it's going to have an improved sidebar for anyone that's creating new teams, or I suppose anyone who is looking at the teams in their organization that they've been given access to. So like with this example here, the marketing team has specific pages underneath it, and those have their own toggle lists that probably have other pages in them. Then the design team also has some separate pages and Acme World also has its own separate pages, but all of these teams are assigned to this individual that is looking at the sidebar at this time so they could get access to these. From my understanding, this is just gonna be a whole lot easier for large teams instead of just having tons of pages crammed into their sidebar. So they're really utilizing the sidebar as far as I can see. And as you see down here, they also still have your private pages listed below all of your teams. So this is what it will look like. And these are kind of like the specific teams. I just had a note here. Now, this is what it will look like browsing teams and managing team settings. So you can see all the teams that you've joined here and you can kind of just look through all of the teams that are part of the organization. And next I wanna talk about the better database views. So if you are familiar with Notion, you probably realize the difference here. They've added this new bar here and it's for creating database views. And more specifically, this is for creating database views that are unique to a specific person in the company. So if I go to this next one here, as you can see, they've added this easy to use view creation bar and you can set these views for everyone or you can just save them for yourself. It used to be when you created a view for a database like this, it would get uh, push to all of the people that looked at that database. But now it looks like they're personalizing views so that you have the option to save them for everyone, but you can also just look at them yourself. This feature isn't live yet. I think it's coming later this year. Um, so here is also uh, just a comparison of what the new view editing window will look like. So if you guys are familiar with Notion, you know that this is kind of what the old version or I suppose the current version as of today looks like, and this is what they're moving to. So it's gonna be a little bit easier to browse between these views and click on the one that you're interested in. And they've gotten rid of some of this redundant text. Like most people know what a table board timeline is gonna do. So I think it's good that they've removed a lot of this text out of here. Uh, it just, this just kind of adds more than what's necessary in my opinion. They've also added this new view options window so you can change the options for your view all in one place and you don't have to move all over the board to change things. So this is pretty nice as well. Now, the next thing that they really stressed during this conference is that they are really pushing to advance their API through the use of synced databases, which will be a new type of database in Notion. It's going to allow you to connect in a unique way with different applications. One of the examples that they used was a Google Calendar Sync example, and they literally took one of their staff's Google Calendars live and converted it to a Notion calendar. And the cool thing about this is it actually syncs with each other. So these are actually gonna update live. I've created a version of this on my channel using the current API, but it's definitely not as quick and agile as this uh, new integration is going to be. And the nice thing about this is it's as simple as pasting a link to your calendar into Notion. That's all you're gonna have to do. 
And if you're connected with your Google Calendar, it will paste that calendar right in and it'll populate all of these events as pages. And they also showed an example of how you could relate these pages to other databases within Notion. So for instance, these are all interviews, but if you wanted to connect them to notes, you could do so, so that you have notes on each of your interviews. They also officially announced that they're out of their API beta, which brought on a lot of new uh, API connectors that you can utilize. So now you're gonna be able to utilize all of these connections. And these are just some of the improvements that they've seen with the API. Something that I'm particularly interested in is just using like these other blocks through the API. And they also have simple tables integrated now as well. So you can put information into these simple tables that they most recently added um, rather than into just databases. Because before the API was pretty much strictly focused on editing databases and now it's got some of these extra features here so that's nice one other thing that they really kind of stressed is that they have these new certificate programs and i'm actually going to try to become notion certified so this is like a badge that you can get for uh, understanding notion at a high level and you'll get added to a directory of notion pros that they have uh that they've basically vetted and that have been uh that have gone through an exam and whatnot so this will be interesting to see how that develops. And then they also have the Notion Champions program and I didn't get a screenshot of it, but they also have a new like Notion power user admin certification. So three new certifications from what I've seen that they have uh, that they're offering to people just to kind of tout how good you are with Notion, I guess. And also just to um, basically have a flag up that says, hey, I'm pretty good with Notion and I've been Notion certified, so you can trust me to uh, deliver correct information when it comes to Notion. So that's pretty neat. I think that that's good that they have these. It won't affect most users though. And then finally, they also talked a little bit about um, how they're expanding into multiple languages and they made a point to note that Notion is larger in a lot of countries outside of the US. They're not predominantly like focused in the US, they're pretty much all over the place. And they really have a focus on being an international company and having like a global reach. So those were just some of the things that I wanted to go through in today's recap. And this is pretty much everything that you would need to know from the conference. I don't think you'd have to watch the conference back if you watch this video and you uh, listen to everything that I said, because this pretty much covers everything. But if you guys do want to check out the conference, just search up block by block Notion conference and you should be able to find it. I think they were hosting it on a platform called Hopin. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below what you're most excited about Notion adding. I would say that, you know, when Notion releases something, typically I find that personally it's a little bit underwhelming in terms of features because I'm all about the features, but I know that's not the overall uh, goal is just to release as many features as possible. They want to make sure that they can create something that will scale for organizations and teams. And along the way, they're adding these nice little features like the uh, new way to create views, which I am excited about, and the API connections, which are getting better. So I'm excited, a little bit underwhelmed, but you know, that's okay. I'm, I'm happy to uh, have brought you guys this video today. So all right, we'll see you guys in the next one.